about the Hunter Biden plea deal and your reaction? So my first reaction is it continues to show the two-tier system in America. If you are the president's leading political opponent, the DOJ tries to literally put you in jail and give you prison time. If you are the president's son, you get a sweetheart deal. Now this does nothing to our investigation. It actually should enhance our investigations because the DOJ should not be able to withhold any information now saying that because of pending investigation, they should be able to provide Chairman Comer with any information that he requires. But Mr. Speaker, this is a Trump appointed U.S. attorney that's held over into this administration. Why won't you accept it's done. the thorough investigation and to just accept it on its merits given the person who investigated it? It was a thorough investigation. So, so, why so won't you, you accept, I'm no, asking you. But I'm asking you. So you believe it's a thorough investigation. I'm asking you. Do you think it's equal and fair that a political opponent is going to be given jail time, but a presidential son, and if you compare this to other individuals in America that have these same um, accusations against them, the same crimes that they had been guilty of, that they were proposed to have 10 years another time period? I think that's a difference in justice. Speaker McCarthy, what about the, the Trump attorney? attorney? What about the fact that it's a Trump attorney? Speaker McCarthy, uh, you said this has no impact on the investigations from House Republicans. So what can the American people expect from Republicans going forward? Continue to follow whatever information um, leads us to. We've watched time and again. I mean, remember what we have found so far, that the president's family builds nothing, owns no offices, but we found out, lo and behold, even though the, the FBI tried to hold from us, that in a 1023 form, that people have said that they had to pay the president's family money for favors. We now found later, by suspicious activities through banks, how many American families have ever had that happen to them, but there's hundreds of them, that money has come from foreign entities into shell companies, moved to other shell companies by the president, and paid members of his family all the way down to grandchildren as well. How many families in America have that, where you literally build nothing, you make no product, you have no offices, but you make millions of dollars from foreign entities, and they pay every almost numerous members in your family through shell companies. The minute the money comes in, moves to another shell company, which moves to the payment of the family. That raises questions that I think has to be answered. And that's where the investigation continues to lie, to look into these, where the president said he had nothing to do with, but we had other accusations and information that continues to unfold. We've heard a lot about two-tiered systems of justice. Is it only equal application if Hunter Biden or President Biden is indicted as well? I mean, the charges are different. The circumstances are different. Well, okay, that's a very good question because the question is, is, is it equal justice? So you have one leading opponent of the current president that is now indicted is supposed to do jail time. You have a president's son that the investigation went on for a very long time. Um, that now has to do no jail time, but you have the, can I finish the yeah. answer to your question? But now you have a sitting president that's in charge of the DOJ that has the same accusations against his political opponent where he has classified documents, but his is even worse because it goes all the way back when he was a senator. Now, none of you have ever asked me this question. As a member of Congress and a member of the Gang of Eight, can I ever remove classified documents from the skiff? The answer is no. But why is the sitting president today have classified documents all the way back to when he was a senator? And if he's been in office this long, why hasn't that investigation ended up? How are you so fast to do an investigation of former President Trump, even though you're talking about presidential records that doesn't have a criminal's uh, uh, statute to it and doesn't have a timeline when the papers come back, but you have a sitting president today that now has a son that gets a sweetheart deal, that now the president today, his political, top political opponent, is indicted and has potential jail time, and you have the same problem yourself, but there's no no movement on that. So I think that to all Americans seems as though it's a two system and that's what's wrong. When you look out this window and you see the Supreme Court, you see Lady Justice there. She's holding a scale, right? 
but also she has a blindfold on. So it shouldn't matter where you wait, whether you're a political opponent or not, it should be equal justice. And I think too many Americans out there, regardless of where you stand on this issue, of whether you're a Republican, Democrat, Independent, Green Party, you want to equal justice, and it just doesn't seem to be. Speaker McCarthy, Speaker McCarthy, Speaker McCarthy, Speaker McCarthy.